Hey there! Hello friends! So I have a somewhat sad announcement to make. I don't know, it's not really that sad, it's whatever. My P.O. box is closed so I cannot receive any more mail. Thank you all so much for those of you who have sent me mail. I'm so appreciative. I love it all so much. There's a few reasons why I decided to shut down my P.O. box. The biggest reason being that if you follow me on Twitter, you probably already know I've struggled the entire time I've had my P.O. box with the post office that it's in and I've tried to be so patient, deal with it, but it's just too much and it's not worth it to me to be paying for a service that is just not running well at all. <laughs> a few examples is like they've lost my packages, they've held my packages for weeks and not told me that they've arrived. It was just kind of a mess. I even received other people's mail and had to like return it. Another reason is that I haven't received fan mail in quite a while, maybe four or five months, which is totally fine. You don't have to send me mail. I'm so thankful for what you have sent me, but I just realized that it I didn't really need it. The mail that I have been getting has been through companies and such, and a lot of them have been using FedEx and UPS and DHL, all services that won't ship to PO boxes. If you are a company that's interested in sending me mail and having me share it in my videos, then please send me an email and I will give you directions on how to use a pickup location and we can still make that happen. And I'm sorry to anybody who wanted to send me like personal mail but didn't get a chance to. Um, maybe in the future I will have a P.O. box again at a different location probably. We'll see. I didn't really want to mention it but I feel like I should just because it's something important to think about is I received some really uncomfortable mail. And it wasn't even hate mail, like if someone sent me hate mail I could deal with it, but it was basically like very overly familiar, being very demanding and asking me of things and like treating me as if they know me and that I owe them things. That's, that's not why I shut down my mailbox, but I was definitely uncomfortable by it and I wanted to mention it because I want you to remember that People that you watch on the internet, you may feel like you have a connection with them and you really know them, but they still haven't met you yet. So uh, just remember that. <laughs> I've met so many people in person. They start to worry and they're like, oh my gosh, like, is this weird? I'm sorry. If you have that worried response, then you don't have to worry about what I'm addressing. <laughs> it's the people who don't think that it's, you know, weird or strange who don't address it and think that it's just like something that's owed to them. Does that make sense? <laughs> If you are aware of the fact that like we've never met and that you know more about me than I know about you and you're conscious of that and you mention that then you don't have to worry. You're handling this well. That's not a problem. It's the people that don't think about that kind of thing and they just feel as if I know them or I owe them something. Now this is gonna get a little weird because I'm gonna backtrack into some mail that I've already opened. Two packages that I want to open and Holly's here but she's off screen. Why did you include that? Because you might be like, oh my gosh! It says on it, bookmarks and enamel pins, but this is quite a big box for bookmarks and enamel pins, so I'm very excited. These are my colors, pink and green. I love it, it goes with my core. Ooh! There's like a little dragon! That's so cute. A little dragon and a little dragonfly! Oh my gosh! Saturn heart rainbow. Series? It's so these, yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. They're so cute. Look at all these stickers she sent. So cute. Hashtag stay lovely. Hashtag stay nerdy. Oh, there's like popsicles with what kind of looks like palpo fruit from Kingdom Hearts. There's a lot in here. There's so much in here. Two hands with ice cream scoops on them. There's a little boo with the Mickey oh, ears. That's so cute. There's another, there's a sloth that's pink. There's her business card. Oh, there's another Millennium Falcon with a BB-8. There's so many in here, oh my gosh.
perfecthumans.co or perfect underscore humans on Instagram where you can get some of these really amazing pins. There's so many! So many good ones to choose from. Thank you so much, Julia. Oh, that box is so cute. Yeah, these boxes are really, they're hollow. Oh, they're so pretty. Fairly feminine designs. Ooh, it's a cake necklace. Ooh, it would look really nice with this coordinate. Oh, I think it's earrings of the same one. Oh, I need more earrings. Yeah, oh, those are really cute. I love those. Fairly feminine designs. Now let's open the last package that I need to and I've already opened it but I can show you what I received. I got a package from Jelly Beat which is a new site that's a spin-off of Rilakkuma North America but Jelly Beat's website is focusing specifically on super kawaii pastel adorable side of Rilakkuma and Senex. I already opened this package because it had to be sent to my friend's house because the service that they were using wouldn't ship to my apartment. When I got there to pick it up, there were my we were doing another shoot and my friends were like, well, we want to see what's inside of it. And I really wish that I had recorded it because everybody freaked out and screamed and was so excited going through it, but I didn't. <sighs> next time. The next time I get a package, and I have to send it there, we'll, we'll record it. Okay, so I got this big package from Jelly Bee. It's a little beat up at this point because it's been sitting around for a little while. I'm so sorry. And this package was in an even bigger package because this handsome Rilakkuma came with it on top. And I love this Rilakkuma. It, like, I love this position that he's in. It's so, just paint me like one of your French girls. There's beans in him. He's weighted so that he can sit up. Everything in this package is seriously so cute. I love this Rilakkuma keychain. It's so soft and smooth. I've had keychains like this before and I have had so many that I've given them away in giveaways, but then I realized that I didn't keep one for myself, so now I'm happy to have another one so I can keep it. Then there's these two Kitty Gurumi plushes on little keychains. They're so cute. And their hoods can come off and you can see that they're a little kitty. Then there's this really cute otter Kurilla Kuma plush and it's so adorable. <laughs> I do kind of wish that the costume could come off. The costume cannot come off. It's still very adorable. If it was, if there was one thing I could change about it, it would be that you could remove the costume. And then there's this rainbow alpaca, which I love so much. Oh, I've always wanted a rainbow alpaca. It's still so cool to be able to get these because I remember back when they were only available in UFO catchers and you had to hire a shopping service to go in Japan and catch them from UFO catchers. Like that's their origins. And now it's just still so cool that you can order them for yourself, like from just sites, like they're available. This will be a great addition onto a backpack or a bag to just add a bunch of cuteness all in one and not have to have too many things hanging off of it. You just have like one cute representative. And then there's a bunch of Sumiko Garashi little keychain figures. Thank you so much, Jelly Beat, for sending me this amazing package. I love all of these plushes. I'm gonna take very good care of them. That's it for this final mail video. I don't think it's gonna be a final mail video. I'll probably do other haul type videos. But thank you all so much for the mail that you've sent me. Thank you for all the companies that have sent me care packages and their products. I love receiving mail. If you're a company that would like to send me mail to review or to just do a haul video, please send me an email. We can talk about it. Even if you're a really small company or an independent like crafter, creator, whatnot, feel free to send me an email. And yeah, stay lovely.